Yo, right, guys, and welcome back to another preview here on the channel. I'm James, not joined today by Adam, uh, who will be back for the Tyler's Den Prediction League video that will be coming out later on today, though. And yeah, welcome back to a brand new preview here on the channel. And in this one, we're going to be previewing the Rotherham game coming up um, on Saturday, which is tomorrow for you guys, recording this on the Thursday night. Uh, yeah, we're here today to give you guys the preview, and in this one, it's going to be a little bit interesting, obviously, because um, we'll be doing a start at 11, the uh, prediction and all things like that. But going into it, Rotherham actually just recently sacked their manager as of yesterday, well, two days ago when you'll watch this. So, I'm a little bit worried. I was really confident going into the game, but now I'm a little bit worried because Kenny Jackett's the favourite to become the manager, and obviously Kenny Jackett is a decent manager. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm just a little bit worried. Obviously, we've got Rotherham. That, oh, it's Rotherham at the end of the day. We should really go there and beat them, but... I don't know. I'm personally a little bit worried now, um, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna predict us a win anymore. I don't, I don't know why. I'm sorry, but I'm going for a one-one. But uh, yeah, we'll get into that later on. Um, but yeah, obviously we're gonna start for the starting eleven as we always do. Uh, so starting off in goal, we're gonna go with Ali Al Habsi. Um, yeah, not really too much of a change up there. I mean, what's the point in doing the change up there? Um, Ali is perfectly fine. It wasn't really his fault for the goals on Tuesday against Villa, um, which, well, in the right-back position I'll go into in a minute. Um, but yeah, I mean, what's the point in changing Ali? Um, yeah, he's playing well. Um, yeah, for a 35-year-old goalkeeper as well, kind of when you get into the mid-30s, it's kind of the peak for them, which is a little bit weird. I mean, like Buffon, Czech, you got a ton of keepers at the moment who are in their peak. Um, so yeah, go with him. Uh, go in the right-back position. I'm going to go with Tanai Watson, not putting Chris Gunter in there. Um, yeah, I'd just rather Tanai Watson play. Uh, Chris Gunter was at fault for the goal, um, the winning goal um, on Tuesday. Uh, he wasn't in position for the penalty. Um, he was drifting off in centre midfield and lightly jogging back. Um, yeah, Liam Moore obviously came across to um, to cover him, really, and ended up giving away the penalty. So yeah, I'd rather Tanai Watson play there because Chris Gunter uh, doesn't really have any position in just thoughts really he doesn't have any awareness um so yeah i'd rather put tonight watson in there it's it's rotherham as well it can build his confidence up i mean who's he going to be playing against on the wing izzy brown um decent enough player but he's not really going to trouble us too much uh center backs i'm going to go with hopefully paul mcshane's back by then so paul mcshane and liam moore if not joey vandenberg is a perfect replacement uh, he played really well i felt like um at the weekend uh, so the weekend on Tuesday, I thought Joey played really well, um, was really good at closing down his men and uh, was really good actually at uh, winning the ball back. So we're going to put Joey in the centre-back positions. Left-back going to go with Jordan Obita, have a mix up there. I don't think, really think uh, Tyler Blackett played too well on Tuesday and Saturday as well. I didn't really think he played too well. So yeah, I'm going to put Jordan Obita on a left-back. Attacking left-back as well. Uh, this would be good to pile on the pressure on Rotherham early. Uh, they've actually lost their last five in a row, so I mean, we should really be winning this game um so yeah put Jordan O'Brien in the left back central midfielders and CD I'm going to go with George Evans Danny Williams and John Swift um yeah I mean I'm always going to put them three in there um there's just no point really changing it around um they're a decent enough three man midfield at the moment John Swift's been a little bit quiet recently uh Danny Williams as well I missed a penalty on Tuesday um, yeah, and CDM George Evans, he was a little bit quiet as well on Tuesday, uh, wasn't really at fault for anything and wasn't really involved in anything, so we had kind of like an Oliver Norwood game almost, so um, yeah, put him there, right wing, going to go with Gareth McCleary, um, he actually played really well against uh, Aston Villa, created quite a lot of opportunities, um, had a really close shot at the end as well, and um, yeah, won the penalty himself as well. I feel like McCleary's kind of coming back to the form we saw him against Barnsley just before he got the red card and um, just all throughout the start of the season really. So hopefully we can see McCleary come back into that type of form because I'd really like to see McCleary cementing his play. Well, he's He's been the mainstay in the team really, but I'd rather see him be that first name on the team sheet that we need. Uh, left winger to go with Roy Behrens. I feel like Roy Burns has come under criticism recently over the last couple of weeks, and personally, for me, he's been criticised as well. Don't really think Roy Burns has turned up to too many games recently with a free-flowing confidence. Um, well, what better way to get your confidence than by playing a team that has lost five in a row? Um, I feel like Roy Burns hopefully will be able to get the confidence in himself uh, to perform well. Um, so hopefully, we can see a better Roy Behrens at the weekend, I don't know, he's just not really been up to it recently, so hopefully we can see something from Roy Behrens, maybe get a goal and assist or two, something like that, uh, but recently he's been a bit slow, a little bit, not really producing the skills as much, so hopefully we can see Behrens play a little bit better, and finally up front I'm going to go with Jan Kerm, we've got that first goal at home, so uh, we're well, here, Jan finally did it, um, yeah, but I'd like to see Kerm a good start up front, because I feel like he had a bit of a quiet game against Villa, he didn't really showcase what he's made of, uh, also a good way to get your confidence up is by playing against the team, again, that's lost five in a row, uh, but playing centre-backs that probably won't be as confident, 
Uh, I think Rotherham have a former, I think it's Derby or Bolton man at the back. Can't remember what it is, and um, he's been under quite a lot of criticism recently. Um, yeah, he's been playing quite a lot for them recently, so hopefully he will still be in the team, so we can have Jan Kermigan playing. Um, yeah, hopefully Kermigan will be all right to play. Um, to well, hopefully he'll be all right when he's playing. Um, I'd like to see him score a goal, and yeah, I'd just rather Kermigan start up top. You know, I don't really feel like Yapstam sees anything in Dominic Samuel, and if he didn't see anything in him, there's a reason for that. So surely we got to trust Yapstam's judgment. Um, again, they're coming off the bench. I'd like to see players such as Callum Harriet. Maybe Dominic Samuel can prove to Stan that he has a bit of talent in him. Uh, Liam Kelly as well. Wouldn't mind seeing off the bench. Uh, keep asking for that. And uh, hopefully we can actually make subs this game. Going into the score prediction though, I'm actually going to go with a 1-0 Reading. I did say 1-1 at the start of the year. I'm going to go with a 1-0 now though. Um, I don't know. I just feel like five losses in a row. We've got to be beating a team like that. We've got to be beating a team. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can pick up the win. 1-0 I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with a Kermagut goal. I did predict him to be the top goal scorer at the start of the season. I think he's got three for the campaign now. Um, so one more and he'll be joint top with Swifty. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can see some improvement on Jan's goal scoring form. But I did predict him top goal scorer at the start of the season. So uh, hopefully that can come true. Finally, going on to the rating out of 10, I'm going to go over a six. Honestly, I don't feel CS playing really well against the team that's just sacked their manager. So they're going to have that new manager momentum. Um, yeah, I'm going to go over overall only a 1-0 win. So uh, yeah, hopefully uh, that can... Uh, not go our way hopefully we can go a better win like a three or a four you know away from home you don't really see written win three or four nil so you don't even see us win really um so i mean a one nil would be perfect um so that's gonna be for today's video guys hope you've all enjoyed it don't forget to put down your uh, starting element down in the comment section below i uh, really appreciate it to see who you guys would rather start up top and uh, who you'd like to see kind of just everywhere on the pitch Leave score predictions as well, not just yet in the next video, it'll be laid out later on today, uh, which will be the Talisman Prediction League, who we do in association with them. Um, so that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed it. I've been James, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.